Welcome to Knowledge Graphs. We are Harald Sack and Tan and Masawa Faye. And this is lecture number six, Intelligent Applications with Knowledge Graphs and Deep Learning. And as every week, we are starting with a brief introduction into the topics of this week's lecture. First of all, we are going to start to talk about the graph in Knowledge Graphs. Of course, we are referring to Knowledge Graphs because we know this is a kind of graph network. But the graph itself carries lots of information that might be useful for us. So there is a subject in, in science, of course, which is called graph theory. And you will learn in that first part of the lecture a few basics of graph theory. And you will see how useful this is then to carry on with the tasks and projects we want to do. And to connect then in the end to the so-called knowledge graph embeddings, what we are doing then in excursion 8 is we are looking at the distributional semantics, because what we want to do is somehow to find out how can we represent the graph structure in a graph. And this, of course, is induced or has started in the beginning in the realm of natural language processing, so with the language models. In 6.2, we will introduce knowledge graph embeddings, particularly the construction kit. Here we will introduce the normal or the usual scoring function, the knowledge graph embedding techniques, the loss functions, as well as other details, such as what kind of um, knowledge does knowledge graph embeddings actually include. In 6.3, we will show you a real life application of knowledge graph embeddings, namely knowledge graph completion. In knowledge graph completion, we have several tasks to explain. Okay, and what follows is, of course, we want to look deeper into the relation of knowledge graph and language models, because large language models are all around. So each week or every month, a new language model is occurring. And of course, people are rather excited about the capabilities. And we have to look at language models more closely. We know already that they're, they have some deficiencies. and. Knowledge graphs, interestingly, as symbolic knowledge representation, have the power to help these language models. So this is what we are going to do in the next part of the lecture. And then subsequently, we will look at two further applications, which are rather popular and also powered by knowledge graphs. First of all is semantic search, which means we want to improve traditional search algorithms, information retrieval algorithms, based on semantic information. And by leveraging this semantic information, what we can do is we can further explore the entire search space, which leads us to the topics of exploratory search and recommender systems. As is customary, we always end our lectures with hands-on. We would start with network analysis using Python library Network X, followed by and uh, we will move on with a Google Colab notebook in which together we will perform a very simple knowledge graph completion task using the trans -E model and the Python library um, AmpliGraph. Okay, now let's start our lecture with the graph in knowledge graphs. <laughs> 